Let's get out to Ross Becker, who is live for us in Ohio, ahead of the Republican National Convention. All the California delegation is in Sandusky, which is 60 miles uh, to the west, I think, of Cleveland. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, yeah, they are. We're about 60 miles west of Cleveland. We're in Sandusky at the Kalahari Resort, and this is part of the uh, this is part of the California delegation. They are all in line, getting on the bus, heading to downtown Cleveland, uh, getting ready for uh, what is going to be an exciting day. The first day of this convention, Make America Safe Again. That is the uh, that is the theme of today's uh, first day of the convention, and that's a very important one because uh, security is so tight here. Obviously, what's happened over the weekend, the situation with the police officers and so on. Uh, security is very, very tight. Now, all of these California delegates, uh, about 15, 20 of them from the Southern California, San Diego area, are all getting on a bus, and they are going to be heading downtown Cleveland. It's probably going to take them an hour to get through security and, uh, and get into the uh, convention center. They call it the Q here. It's the Quicken Loan Center in downtown Cleveland. And uh, then they're going to be spending the day on the floor of the convention. It is going to be a long day for them. There will be entertainment as the day goes on. And then the convention tonight, they're going to be uh, hearing some very, very interesting speakers. One of them, the keynote speaker tonight, is Donald Trump's wife, Melania Trump. She's going to be speaking along with Rick Perry, the former governor of Texas. Uh, Scott Bale, actor from Happy Days. Remember him? Rudy Giuliani, former New York mayor. Uh, Senator Jeff Sessions will be a speaker at tonight's convention. And this one will be interesting. Trump. Billy Trump. Robertson. Trump. Uh -uh. There we go. Well, this is the Chinese delegation from California, by the way. Way. Billy Robertson of Duck Dynasty is also going to be a speaker tonight. There go. we go. We love Ohio, baby. California love Trump. Love Ohio. San Diego for Trump. Yeah. San Diego for Trump. San Diego for Trump. Yeah. That's right. San Diego for guys? Trump. Fine. We're having a great time. We're enjoying it already. I talked to you last week. You were excited. Yes, right? we really are. We're looking forward to today. It's our first day at the convention. Uh -huh. so we're very and your eyes are wide open. Oh, yeah. Barely, the, right? the, the energy is so positive here. We are so excited. We had a great time last night, and uh, we look forward to a great time today and Not for the next three days. Concerned about the security situation? Not at all. I mean, there's more security here, and I have not seen one incident at all. So we're really excited. Okay, tonight, Melania Trump is the keynote speaker. But there are others as well. I kind of went through the whole list. Who are you looking forward to hearing? Melania is Melania, the one I'm really? looking most, but all of them. I'm yeah. interested in seeing everybody, but I'm really looking forward to seeing Melania, especially because I heard Donald's introducing her. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, if that's true, that's he did say I'm yesterday he was going to be here today. Yeah. So I'm excited. We're looking forward to that. And what about you? Any particular speaker? Yeah, Melania. We were very impressed actually listening to her in some other prior interviews and in multiple languages. She speaks well educated, well spoken. So we're excited about the hearing for her. Today's going to be one of those days where they say bring your patience because you're going to be waiting in a lot of long lines, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So we've been told. <laughs> but it's all worth it. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. What's so the message for San Diego about Donald Trump? What do you think? Make America great again. Period. Period. All right. We hey guys, need him. Have a great time, all right? Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Here we go. What's your name? Linda Alvarez. Linda Alvarez. All right, Linda, why are you here? To support Trump, of yeah, course. Yeah, but why Trump? Why, what is it about Donald Trump that that uh, gets you excited? He's going to get us back on track. Definitely uh, get us back on track. And what part of San Diego do you live in? North County. North County? Very good. We're looking and, forward to it. Uh, there is an energy in this room. Uh, Absolutely. Which, but, but it happens at every political convention, and that's important, isn't it, for the but campaign? This is a little different this year, don't is you it, think? Why is it different? The energy for Trump. I know, but why is it different for Trump? Is there a, a I mean, it's just politics, right? No, I don't think so. Not this time. Absolutely not. I think that he really realized what the people are just fed up, and we just need to actually love our country. Most people don't even love the country anymore or respect our Constitution. So it's I have definitely to, different. I have to ask you this as a woman. because uh -huh. I, I No, are you concerned about some of the things he says? Do you think uh, he is a, a problem for women not, voters? And I'll tell you why. Please. Everyone's concerned about what Donald Trump is saying. Mm -hmm. Why don't you ask about Mr. Clinton and the way he, he treats women and his track record? Mm -hmm. That's where you need to focus. That is a Clinton style. We don't want that. All right. Well, you have a big day ahead of you. Thank you. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you on the floor of the convention. All right? All right. All right. All right.
Again, this is the uh, California delegation, those people from the San Diego area, and they're getting ready to head on the bus, heading down to the queue, the uh, Quicken Loan Center in downtown. This is going to be a big day for these people. This is the first day. They're getting their uh, feet on the ground here in Cleveland, and a long week for Republicans who are now, uh, as you heard them talking about, they want to sell their candidate to America. They want this to be a huge stage. <laughs> they want to make this a huge stage for their candidate, and that's what's going to happen this week, and, uh, and that is why they are all here. So I tell you what, uh, we're going to throw it back to you. And, and unless you guys got some questions, uh, I'll be happy to talk about security or whatever you need to. It's just kind of a crazy morning here at the Kalahari Resort, as you can imagine. I know. I, well, I'm sure, Ross, you have not been down to the to the queue to the Quicken, uh, Quicken Loans Arena yet. But I understand there were protests yesterday, and security is 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 uh, is more. Uh, there's so much more security this year than we've ever seen in light of what's been going on. Yeah. Yeah, we were actually down there yesterday afternoon before this all began. Today it's going to be even tighter. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you mentioned, it is extremely tight. They have a six and a half block area blocked off right around the Quicken Loan Center. And um, they, uh, they have uh, 4,000 National Guard, 3,000 police officers. Uh, they have a huge security zone. Uh, but I have to mention this too. This is an open carry state as far as weapons are concerned. So that is one of the things that uh, are very concerning for police officers here. You're going to see protesters uh, that are carrying weapons and and uh, at, at the same time uh, as as other things in this security area downtown so um, let me uh, let me see if I can talk to some more people here how you doing hello what's your name my name is Arkan Somo and you're from San Diego yeah, exactly. <laughs> so are you excited today I am very excited <laughs> what do you represent uh, what do I represent? What do you represent as far as the Trump supporter? Well, I represent uh, hope, unity, changing the direction of this country, uh, keep us safe, uh, grow jobs. And we were just talking about security. Are you concerned about security today at all? Not really. Not really. I think we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Well, have a great day, all right? Thank you. Thank all you, right, they're heading, getting ready to head on the bus and, and head down to the queue. Again, this is kind of, sorry for how crazy this is this morning, but this all happened to the last second just before we came live, and so we decided to go portable and show you exactly what's happening in the lobby of the hotel. Ross, crazy Ross, is just, how the morning yeah, show goes, it's man. It's just the beginning <laughs> of crazy for you there. I so, know. So let me ask you, because yesterday uh, the weather played a factor in some of the uh, planned Contest. demonstrations. Mm -hmm. How is the weather today in Cleveland? Well, we had a, quite a thunderstorm about 5 o'clock this morning, uh, which we were able to hear. But uh, it has cleared up now, and I checked the radar because we had to make sure as well. It looks like it's probably going to clear up. We may get a shower later on, but it's going to be nothing that's going to stop the protest. It is hot. It is humid here. Uh, tempers probably will get a little hot later on this afternoon. But again, with all those police officers and the National Guard, they even brought in snow plows. They don't need them in the summertime here in Ohio. So they brought in snow plows, and they're blocking the streets. So uh, obviously... A response to what happened in Nice with that large truck and uh, it is uh, security is just amazing downtown Secret Service is going through virtually every vehicle the size of your purse has to be measured because uh, some of these ladies uh, are carrying the clear purses you can see right here uh, she's got her clear purse Michael Oh, yeah, yeah there's that. another one right there. Yeah. Uh, and that's part of the security situation. Uh, the uh, GOP is handing out those purses so that security can be enhanced here in, uh, in Cleveland. All right, you see Ross. Senator Joel Anderson in the crowd there as yeah. well. You spoke to him earlier. Yeah, right there. There he is the right there in the gray shirt. Yeah. So he's one of the delegates for California. He, he brought us some. He brought us some virgin mimosas just a few minutes ago, so we have to thank Joel Anderson publicly. <laughs> well, that's good. That's All good. Right. All right. Thanks thank very you, much. Ross. All right. We'll check back with you in a little while to see All right. what progress they're making in the, as they get ready for the big convention tonight. Moving on down to the convention center. Thank you, thank you Ross. All right. Let's get a check of some of our other morning.